Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your reading. Scorpio, this is going to be what are their true intentions and love. So this is a reading between you and your person, right? Whoever they are. And uh, I have some oracle cards here for you, Scorpio. And they are, so far, uh, we started with this card, uh, Maya Ned. And I'm not sure what that is, but it, I'll be honest, the name, these are the little vampires. It's some type of... Uh, maybe it is like about a person. It's probably about an energy, but it's not really that important uh, how to pronounce that. It is about madness, ecstatic ritual. You could be releasing something. Maybe you are uh, releasing something and it feels kind of like crazy or mad. Maybe you're just releasing some type of energy here. I feel like, like, and that maybe is... It's just, it's maybe it's kind of like on fire or just something here that was like really challenging. I feel like you are releasing that. You could be, uh, it could be something really electric with this ecstatic, right? Maybe it was something happy. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. We have the individual individuality card, and this is supposed to be Zoe. I'm not really sure who this is. Uh, it looks like the artist daughter to me <laughs> uh, in this deck. But my point about it is, uh, if she had one, right? This is about somebody who like accepts that they are unique, right? So maybe you were you or your person. Maybe somebody here is dealing with they were doubting themselves, right? Because maybe they feel like they're not like everybody else, and a lot of people go through that, right? And we can't all be like we have to be ourselves, right? Yeah. How how else can you thrive in this world? kind of don't feel unique right that's how that is right sometimes when you're younger or something you feel that you don't fit in you're not like everybody else maybe you don't have straight hair like everybody at school or something like that but as you get older you go wow i got some really nice hair i have really nice curls something like that right we have the honesty card and the warrior of the heart somebody i feel like you could be the warrior of the heart here <clears throat> Maybe you're being honest with yourself about something here. But you're dealing with somebody, Scorpio, here. Release your ex. Yeah, it says right here, get rid of that you-know-who, that you-know-SOB. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Release your ex. They don't feel good enough and trust the situation. I feel like you are, like, moving on, maybe, you know, and you feel like you could be celebrating your, like, that you are unique on some level, possibly. I feel like you are becoming the warrior of the heart. I feel like you are releasing them. It says right here, release energy. And here, release your ex. You're letting them go. They don't feel good enough. So, you know, they don't. Maybe they are the ones that, you know, have a problem with uh, their own individuality. I'm not sure. Trust the situation. Uh, maybe you're releasing them. I feel like you are releasing them. And you could be, this is telling you to trust it. Like, trust your path forward. In the recent past, you have the lovers, you have the three of swords. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody here who kind of, they kind of probably broke your heart and they probably had somebody else. Yeah, this is why you are probably releasing your ex. The two of pentacles, they have the seven of swords. Maybe you need to release them, but you know. Okay, so the, you're right here in your uh, challenge here is the six of wands reversed. I feel like, you know, you think this person's going to have victory with somebody, three of swords right here in your energy, because they are fearing the ace of wands. So they look like they're afraid they're not going to have a passionate new beginning, maybe with a Sagittarian, because temperance is right next to this ace of wands. Maybe with a, a Piscean, because it's right above the ace of wands. And let's see what we have for you. The Knight of Pentacles, this is probably your person and you are uh, kind of worried about what's going to happen with this person, the Nine of Wands, which is the wounded or the worried warrior. It says warrior of the heart here. I feel like you're stepping into that. In the past, you were worried about it. Yeah, you were worried about this person, what was going to have, what was going to happen to them. I feel like they had a lover. Yeah, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. Yes, they had somebody from their, from their past. I feel like this is third-party energy. You could have been heartbroken here. Uh, if at least you are wounded, this is sh because this person is embattled from prior battles, and now they're wondering what's going to, you know, gee, what's going to happen now? And the Ace of Pentacles, you're worried this person is going to have a new beginning with somebody. Your challenge is that they're holding on to this person. Yeah, they don't feel good enough. Mm -hmm. And the Knight of Wands, this is what you want. Let's see. Six of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you don't want their situation to work out. 
maybe you want your fair share money six of pentacles but i feel like you don't want the, this person to have what they are trying to get here they look like they're trying to heal a situation with somebody from their past the hangman is what you fear or doubt it's showing up with the wheel of fortune scorpio so uh, you could be dealing a uh, fearing a sagittarian because this the temperance card is here maybe they their their girlfriend is sagittarian or not their girlfriend but their their mistress or something or their person from the past mhm mm and right in so let's see you could be doubting i feel like you are in the hangman energy about this person the moon card Wow, this is three major arcanas in your doubts. You're, I feel like you are fearing this, uh, this secret kind of king of cups. This is you, most likely. I feel like you just have doubts and fears about the situation, and you feel really stuck. The two of pentacles, yeah, you feel stuck. You, you maybe you're trying to enlighten yourself about this person, but. This is clear you feel kind of hung up by this person, like really stuck and in limbo, right? And they have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, Justice. They look like they are thinking about leaving. They are no longer confused, it looks like. I feel like they made up some, they made, they made a decision, Justice, Seven of Cups, reversed. But they could be... Uh, they still have some doubt over here about something. Ace of Cups. If they're going to have a brand new beginning in love with somebody else. I feel like that's it. Yeah. I feel like I feel like this person made up their mind already. They, they want some type of a new opportunity in love with somebody from their past. Six of Cups. But at the same time... Uh, they're not sure maybe if this person will kind of move on from them or something. This, for some of you Scorpios, this could have been going on for a while. Yeah, I hope you find somebody new, Scorpio, so we can have new energy in your reading. Yeah, I do. The Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups showing up, because this is what's showing up for the collective, right? Not everybody's going through this, but uh, somebody I'm tapping into is Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups is their current energy. They look like they're leaving and escaping, kind of sneaky. King of Swords, they're making a decision to leave. Yeah. And this is what you are worried about. Nine of Wands, you're worried about what's going to happen in the future. Their challenge is the Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. They're overwhelmed. They don't know if they're going to have a new start with somebody. Temperance, yeah, they're carrying a burden about it. The Page of Swords. It's burdening them because they don't know. They have uncertainties. And the Ace of Wands is going to be their outcome. Not their outcome, their fear or their doubt. Yeah, here they're doubting they're going to have a passionate new beginning. They could be afraid to end a cycle with you. I feel like what this is, though, is this person is afraid this other person is going to like end, this, like end it. Like They're not going to have a new chapter with this person. Ten of Cups. Mm, they're fearing here that... Maybe they're afraid to leave their family too. They could be the sun card. Yeah, they don't have, they don't have, they're afraid they're not going to end up being happy, but this person doesn't have clarity of where they're headed. The empress, they're fearing this third party empress person. Yeah, they are. Somebody from their past. Maybe they went to college with them. Maybe this is their ex. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. And. Let's get one more shuffle, and we're going to start this, and we will complete it in the extended Scorpio. See what we have. The heart of the matter is the falseness card, and the past is the letter. Unfolding is the young woman. So this doesn't have to be anybody young. It's just somebody who's not married or in a union. This is like, this could be the third party person. And we have the obstacle is the wedding or a commitment, right, or a union. And the outcome is the thief. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this. This is not complete. No, it needs. we need some more cards for sure. We're also going to see the issues at hand, Scorpio. What's on their mind? Uh, what's showing up in their near future for them? How they feel about you? How they see this situation? And what, you may, what they may be hiding or what you don't know about them, right? 
and their true intentions or their outcome. They're all super affordable. I want to see what this person is doing. I feel like you are leaving this person. I feel like you're worried about what's going to happen, but I feel like you are. Like, here they are deciding to leave, but uh, I'm getting in this reading that you are, like... You feel stuck, but I feel like you're going to become this warrior of the heart, and you're just going to, like, you're going to triumph forward. Yeah, I feel like you are. I feel like you know you need to release them. I do feel that way in this reading. So we're going to see. They're all super affordable, you guys. And thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.